When we're looking to create a new document within Photoshop, the first thing to do is go up to File and New. And then this is where we need to decide on its size of the overall kind of finish. So we can either give it its name straight away. In this case, we're going to do a 10 by 8 upright. And then the next part is going to come down to the width and obviously the size. So I'm just going to click into 8, which would be the width. And of course, at this point, I'm going to choose inches. But you can see here from all the drop down, I can make a choice of either pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, points, pickers, or columns. So I'm just going to go into inches. Reset that to 8, of course, sorry. And then we're going to go into 10 for the height. And uh, it's in the resolution is where probably you'll make some mistakes. Um, for the kind of demonstration of this, we're just going to select 300 pixels per inch. But depending on the laboratory and the output, this could be much less for um, internet use and web and so on. It's usually between 72 and 100. Um, if it's going out to specialized labs, at times it can be 240 pixels per inch. Uh, but as far as the uh, demonstration is concerned, we're using this kind of standard 300 pixels per inch. As far as the color mode is concerned, um, if we're going to be usually putting out to a laboratory or using it for web and so on, we're usually going to be using the RGB color. Um, or if we're going out to a print other than photographic prints, so in other words, going out to postcards or something like that, you're, go you're going to be using uh, CMYK color, which is a different kind of color mix. But in this case, we're going to use R RGB. And then the other thing, it's the choice of the bit. So in, a, in f how much kind of uh, depth of uh, color and variety that we're actually going to have in here. And by default, we usually have an 8-bit color. 16-bit and 32-bit are a much higher file size, but you'll have to convert them down to 8-bit if you're going out to print. So clicking into 8-bit. And then as far as the background is concerned here, we've got a choice whether it's white, background color, or transparent. If it's white, of course, that speaks for itself. If it's the background color, it would select the background um, that is across here on the tools palette. Okay, so if that was a pink, it would now actually be pink if I chose background color. And transparent means there's basically nothing there. I'm going to select white for now. And then as far as the color profile is concerned, this is where you need to obviously choose which is the best for your work in RGB as far as for your laboratory. And please check up with those uh, in advance. The Adobe 1998 here is pretty much the uh, industry standard if we're going out to the likes of uh, kind of color print and things really. Whereas photograph print, we tend to actually work in the bigger workspace, which is the sRGB. And that's pretty much us. So we can just press OK. And then straight away, we have the document on the uh, desktop. And from here, we can actually kind of control everything.